Okay. In the third place, we need to talk about the solving system. Using Laplace transform. Okay? Suppose that we have the system x dot plus ax is equal to the ft. Okay? ft is our input to drive this system. Okay? And so, applying Laplace transform, we will get to what? Zero to infinity value x dot plus ax e over st minus st dt okay or zero infinity ft e over minus st dt right this are form and so we can summarize this equation just like this one or can write it l x dot plus a x which is equal to the l f t which is equal to the what the, we can split two terms in here l x dot plus l a x equals to the what l f t right we can write it. And so, from the Laplace table, if we have the derivative, and then we should write this term as to what? S, S times XS, right? And so, this can be written as S, XS minus X, zero from the initial condition, okay? This is the exact representation of the x dot in terms of the, what the Laplace transformation, okay? In our story. And so, plus this value is written as a is a constant, <coughs> right? And so, a times x s, which is equal to the what? F t can be written as f s, <coughs> okay? This is the basic transformation of the what? The time response to the frequency domain. And so, <coughs> if we collect the xs value in here, just like this one, s plus a, which is equal to the what? x is 0 plus fs, right? And then, we can write that this value, xs, is equal to the what? The x is 0 divided by s plus a plus 1 s plus a times f s this is the representation of the what x dot plus a x is equal to the what f t okay <coughs> this is the Laplace transformation and so how can we easily solve this equation if we have the Laplace table transformation table we can say that x 0 is a constant and so we can see that 1 divided by s plus a is equal to the what? e over minus a t, right? This is simple. And this is useful. And so, how can we write it? The x t is equal to what? Inverse Laplace transform x is 0 plus s a plus inverse Laplace transform <coughs> 1 s plus a f s okay <coughs> so if our time response is only related to the initial condition this is called free response If our time response is only related to the external input, this is forced response. Okay? 
One of them free, one of them false. Uh, Hajar. Where is Hajar? Huh. Hajar. What is free response? How can you define it? Sen just söyledi mama yani. Rumeysa. Rumeysa. Yes, initial condition. Rumeysa'nın yanındaki arkadaş ismin ne? What's your name? Eyşan. Eyşan. What is the forced response? FS or the external input. Okay? So, we don't know right now the FS, but we can say that UT or FT, this input signal, can be assigned with the constant B. What is the FS value for a constant values? B divided by S, right? We know it. We saw it. And so, this equation can be written as just like... <coughs> This one, the x s is equals to the what? X is zero, s plus a plus one divided by s plus a, b divided by s. This is the what? The our free and forced response in terms of the what? The Laplace transformation of the x values. Okay, is that right, Aza? Everything is okay? You get it? Okay. <clears throat> so, this is the Laplace transformation of the, what the R terms. And then, how can we solve this equation into the what? Into the time response. How we can convert these values? The second place we need to focus on x. <coughs> Firstly, we can solve it this part. x0, s divided s plus a. s plus a, e over minus a t, right? Right? This is our representation. Times x0 is constant value, x0. Okay? This is the free response. X free T can be given at this notation. And so, what about what about force response? Force response is given by S plus A B S, right? And so, this is what the B, S, S plus A. And so, it can be written as the sum constant C1, S, C2, S plus A. We don't know the C1 and C2, but we can derive it, right? We can find it. This is the what the partial fraction method. Okay? <coughs> Partial fraction. And so, we can split the S times S plus A system into the, what? The two roots. Right? Two roots. One of them zero, the other one minus A. And then we can solve it. Right? And so, how can we do that? In here, The B S S plus A must be equal to the what the C1 S plus A plus C2 S divided by S S plus A. Right? Right? Okay. And so from this equation C1 plus C2 S plus C1 a can be reorganized by using this equation as s plus a right and so we have one constant value and so this s must be going to what zero 
and so C1 is equal to minus C2, right? Otherwise, we have the S component in here. And uh, on the other end, C1 times A is equal to the what? B, right? Okay, and so the C1 is equal to the what? B divided by A. And also C2 is equal to what? Minus B divided by A, right? From this equation, from the upper equation, right? And so, how can we write this form in here? <coughs> the Laplace transform minus 1, 1 divided by S plus A times B divided by S is equal to the what? The two parts are given in here, is which is equal to the B divided by A, because C1 and C2 is equal to this one, and 1 divided by S minus 1 divided by S plus A. Right? And so, how can we return to the water time response? B divided by A is a constant. We can write it. And so, 1 divided by S in the time response or time domain, which is equal to the what? 1. What about this value? Yes, E over A times T, right? And so, this is the forced response, right? And then, the total equation, xt, is equal to the what? xt, x is 0 times e minus at, which is coming from the what? This term, right? This is the first term. And so, plus, we have also b divided by a, 1, at, right? See, this is so simple. In that case, because we can we can define everything by using the time constants in the what in Laplace transformation domain, right? This is so easy. And so, if we have the complex system, and then we can automatically solve this equation, and we can return to the what the time domain, right? This is a huge advantage, especially for the what the complex system. <coughs> and so. Uh, what's your name? What's your name? Yes. Huh? Gülsüm. What is this? Which response is this? Which response? Well, see, this is the initial condition. And so, which response? It's free response. That's good. And so, this is what? Yes, forced response. Okay. But we have two more definition in here. See that? We have E over minus AT. E over minus AT. And so we can collect the whole the E over minus AT terms at the one side. And then this is equals to the what XT, which is equals to the B divided by A. This is constant value, right? And so, plus, in parentheses, x0 possess this value, and b divided by a, e over minus at. Also defined in here. Same equation, but written in the different form. So, in time, this value is changed or not? No. Not. And so, this must be steady state value or response right what's the meaning of the state state it remains constant all the time which we call it to the what Asian? yes answer the other response Asian, is dependent of the time e over minus a t answer which response is this? No, this is the forced. Which is called, time in, no, time dependent, but in time, 
this value diminished, which we call it in Turkish geçici or transient response. Steady state remains constant, but the transient is the water temporary response because e over minus a t in time is increasing, but in a reverse way. It goes to the watt to the zero, and so it diminish. So it decreasing, it closing to zero, and so which we, which you can say that uh, this is a transient response. The other one remains always constant, which we call steady state. Okay. Okay. In William Palm Palm book, System Dynamic, please read partial fraction section. Section number is 2.4. Okay, guys? This is important. <coughs> 